Hello, hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, whatever time it is, wherever you are, whatever you're watching. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's get to it. The two most powerful, in my opinion, I mean, somebody might have some super build, but this is what I have found to be the two most powerful swords, if used correctly, in the game. Um, I'm a, I'll just go ahead and show you real quickly the stats. Um, Alright, and I don't, I'm not big on builds and all that, I mean, I make things that work together, but I'm not like a super, I'm super psycho about OCD, about my inventory management, having everything, I almost have every Grandmaster suit and everything, but and every sword Grandmaster done uh, from each school, but, you know, I like to make sure, so, um, this is the Erendite sword, we can just call it from here on out Excalibur because that's what it is. The Lady of the Lake does indeed give it to you with a little reminder for something that uh, Geralt did in the past games and I believe in the book. So uh, it's a little just kind of a little wink and a nod to what past, but we'll get into that later. Take a look at the damage 526 to 642. Then I went to the runesmith in, by the windmill in Novigrad. Um, I built him up enough that he can he, I put he put severance on there the reason I like that is that it increases the distance you can attack people from the world by 1.1 yards which is uh, I would say three and a half feet somewhere around there okay and rend by the big swing by almost six feet or actually a little over six feet now the oil is giving the plus 25 percent so ignore that each blow generates charges which increase sword damage by 10 percent charges are lost over time or when receiving damage so using quinn is really useful with this one um a fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased by currently 64, so I've been rocking it, to a maximum of 80, so I'm almost there. Increasing along with your character level, well I'm level 48. Here's, here's how you can do it. You can unequip your steel sword, go out there with your silver sword, Put on whatever you need, beast, insectoid oil, whatever. It's a little tougher, but it's worth it. And then when you fight monsters, you will build it up really fast to the max. I've been only been doing it for four hour, three hours today. So think about this. This thing just gets more and more and more powerful. And then once you add, you know, you can choose to add whatever. Now, the other one... This is the Toussaint Knight Steel Sword. Check this out. Plus, 385, 471 for steel is huge. Uh, but there are others in that range. But then you got plus 300 armor piercing. 30% Quen sign intensity. Plus 100% critical hit damage bonus. Plus 20% critical hit chance. Plus 15% chance to cause burning. Then I went ahead and just threw in some stuff. Sign intensity, 5%. Adrenaline, 5%. Chance to stun, 5%. Seemed to work with it. But what I'm going to do is go to the runesmith once I have enough money. And I'll put something like perseverance or something along the lines of that on it. We'll see what matches best with it. Um... I wanted to show you, and the other thing I wanted to show you real quickly, I don't want this to be boring, uh, hopefully that made the case for why, I mean, I have Grandmaster stuff, uh, swords and all that, I've got them in my, but here, if you get the Grandmaster Ursine or Ursine armor, someone correct me down below please, um, take a look at what you get on this, you get Adrenaline Gain, works with the swords. You get resistance, piercing, bludgeoning. You get a lot of that. 46% from resistance uh, to resistance from monsters. Then three slots. Well, I'm going to leave those empty and use the runesmith to hook this up too. But take a look down below at the Witcher gear. If you have all... Now, you don't have to have all six equipped. You just have to have all of the, of the armor equipped. Now, you won't get the full... 
one at the bottom. That's the problem because you have to have six, but you have to have a minimum of three. When a Quen shield shatters, there's a chance a new one will be cast at no stamina cost. The bonus increases by 5% for each piece of the set. So that's 20% when you use all four pieces. Current chance is 0%. Add that to the percentages given by the swords, both of them. Holy crap, you have a Quen, I mean, Master. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and just throw it on there. How about that? Let's just go ahead and go full... Go for Quinn. I haven't used it yet. I just upgraded to it. All right. I do feel like I need to put something in it, you know, but hey, got a little fur around the neck. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the armor stand, if you excuse me a moment, to put the Grandmaster Wolven. All right, there we go. Grandmaster Wolven, I did some dye work. Have my swords there. I do that. That was where the Manticore. That's the last one I have to do. Manticore School Grandmaster suit. I have the Tournament Knight suit right there with the shield. Um, I have the Feline Grandmaster suit and the whole Venom's or Viper School suit. Uh, of course, the Ancient Elven, uh, Ancient Elven one. And I've got swords over here. Okay. Basically, I, I've already shown in previous videos. You can check them out the house. Let's get to why you're here So you've seen why I think they're the best. Let me show you where they are as quickly as I can Okay I wish I Like wine my wife won't know they're mine. God that guy says the same thing every time I warn past him Okay, first I'm just gonna show you the very very quick version for the people that Time is precious, right? Okay, you go north. Now notice, this is where the big city is. You're, and this is where the palace is. You're gonna be going north and a little east, mainly north, and you're gonna be going to right here at the Arthok, is that how you pronounce it? Arthok Palace Ruins. It's the Elven Ruins where a whole battle group haunts uh, I think it's pronounced Hans or Hans of uh, bandits were I killed them all um, there were like a hundred of them plus like 30 or 40 wild dogs they sick on you uh, it was very it was pretty rough but it was it, the, the battles in this real quick tip what you want to do is get the attention of four or five guys they'll chase you down take them out then go get four or five more guys take them out and just rip rinse and repeat it takes a while it took me about 15 20 minutes and then bada boom bada bing boom. so let me go ahead and let's head over here so i wanted to tell you that it's not going to be like it is now because of course the all these knights come in after i by myself wipe these dudes out the whole army of knights moves in to secure the area um yeah you guys are real tough aren't you by the way um uh, what do you think Think we should hook this up? Let's hook my gear up. Okay, that that just looks. What do you think? Uh, okay. What do you think? Where, where are we going with? Are we going with the blue? That's kind of uh. What brown looks? Brown might be the. Brown seems to go better with that. Wait a minute. We have grit. We have white. There we go. Going with the white. What about if I put some blue on the gloves? No. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I want the gloves to look crazy. Sorry for doing this in the middle of what's supposed to be. A, but this is live. I did, I did another one. Wow, I have a lot of stuff I need to put in here. Okay, so we've got that. That actually looks really good to me. No, that doesn't stand out enough. Okay, so let's go. What if we went, what if we went red on the gloves? That would look kind of, that looks kind of cool, but I have a better idea. Hey, I've got to have my dude hooked up, right? Okay, so let's see. There we go. There we go. That match, there we go. That match, boom. And then one more brown for about the boots there we go that way if I step in any crap or anything 
nobody will notice. Okay. All right, so we're going to run up real fast. Now, of course, originally when you do this, there aren't a bunch of nice, lazy knights that come in afterward to clean up. You're by yourself. You're fighting off uh, drowners. You're fighting everything. But once you get up to here... Oops. Let me go around over here. Oh, get out of my way, you shlongus. Yeah, you should be all bowing down before me. I did all the killing here. Okay, I got so much loot. I got like 10,000 crowns worth of loot. You come up here to the top of this. Once you fought your way up, and it's, I believe it's in here. There was, or it was just above. Um, I can't recall. It's in this general area, right up in the center area. Right, I believe right around here. You go up this ladder, okay? Drink! Give Shh. me a drink! Get out of my way. Okay. Let's light that fire. Okay. And that was, there you go. That's where, and now this is where you get the steel sword, the best steel sword in the game. Now, of course, you're getting the diagram. So that means you do have to get the craft you know the, the parts to craft you have to get the crowns and money to craft it and make it but once you do of course use the Grand Master down in the city and you'll be good to go and then do the same thing and I'm going to be going to the runesmith in a shortly to fix my own up oh now let's quickly get you now you know where that is let's quickly go over to where I Karimba let's see where I'm going I want to make sure I'm actually uh, running correctly Okay. I, I, I like to let Roach, you know, get his rest when I can. But I, when we get where we're going, I'm going to show you, uh, I'll show you this hooked up gold armor. It looks pretty cool. Most of you, I'm not saying, I'm, so, I'm not some master. I've just played this a lot. Uh, many of you have already figured these things out. But this is, in my opinion, the best, what I've come across. Okay, so... If you take a look at, at all of Toussaint, I'm going to say it, the, the Fran basically this is France, okay? This is France. They're just calling it something different. Okay. Right there. You see that? It looks like a donut. The, the palace, gr the tournament grounds, west and slightly north of the tournament grounds, which is, of course, right next to the, right next to our, right, actually, you could just go to your home, the home that you own, and just go west. Okay, so let's go now. Getting to it a little bit closer is actually right here. Okay. Why is that showing up? There we go. Okay, so we're going to head over here. And quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm going to show you the whole lady in the lake and thing. I'm going to try not to spoil too much because it really is fun. Especially if you've played Witcher 1. You don't have to or 2. If not, go check out summary after you do this part, okay? Um, get some kind Hey, Roach is waiting for me. Thank you, bro. Check out his gold plate, man. Oh, yeah. He's rocking it. Run, Roach. Hey. Come on, man. You don't have to be so rude. I love what, if you check my previous video, when uh, Geralt is essentially tripping on whatever mushroom soup she gave him, and, and uh, Roach starts talking, and she, uh, a mare, has a male voice, and uh, <laughs> it's just so funny. He's like, every guy throughout the whole game, go, Ro run, run, Roach, run. He's like, what the F do you think I've been doing this whole time? <laughs> I love that. Okay, alert! Okay, so here we are. You can go in anywhere in the lake. I like coming in on this side. Let me show you where we are at, because it's a little closer. Let's swim. Right there. I mean, but look, to, to be, that's the actual closest, but it doesn't matter. You're talking about a matter of seconds. Now, if you were coming here, and we're going to play this like this is your first time, so we're swimming in. Ah, this game is so beautiful. How is this five years old? Um, anyway. Time flies, right? I didn't give this enough time. Now, let's... First thing I want to do is show you this. This is where... When you come here the first time, you will see a monk sitting on that stone in the center of this little pool. This Now, 
you will literally walk on water. One funny thing is, as you're walking on water without hitting X to interact, uh, Geralt will be like, "I'm walking on water," just like, and the dru and the the monk will say, "Just like who?" And uh, he'll go, uh, for, uh, something like forget. Uh, He's real famous or something like that. And the monk goes, yes, yes, indeed. Obviously, Jesus walked on water kind of thing. Okay, so this is where you'll be. And you'll talk to you'll talk to the, the druid. And then, hi, Karumba. Beautiful. He just wants to swim. This armor is it's heavy. It's, I, gotta get, I need to get used to it. Okay, so after that, after you first meet him... You're going to have to meet five chivalrous, chivalrous, blah, 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 five virtues of chivalry, chivalry. That's a, man, what's wrong with my mouth? Okay, so you may already have met them. It does count what you've done previously in the game. So over here are these stones. You take a look at them. He tells you, but it's good to go look at the stones. You can pause it and read. This one is generosity. There's a kid, for example, that'll bring you a letter, give him a five uh, crown tip, bang, you've got generosity taken care of. It will go one by one, by the way, as a separate side quest. So it's very important to get this as soon as you can, by the way. This sword is awesome. Um, Valor, this one will have its own side quest. Wait for the woman um, in the big city of Toussaint, uh, in the city just south of the palace. She will be just north of the Nilf, north east of the Nilf, Nilfgaard, Milfgard. I always want to say Milfgard, embassy. She'll be calling out to you. Be easy to spot. She's lost her love who went out to go, you know, the drill. He went out to go slay something for her. But it turns out he's just a, has cold feet, doesn't want to marry her, blah, blah, blah. You end up fighting. Okay, the choice is you need to go fight that thing. You need to fight it. You can take the head, take it to her, show her, break her heart, but, but tell her the truth. You still get the valor. And so you want that. Okay. Just a little hack, okay? There may trace, bear witness, compassion. So many options. Anytime if, that you previously freed somebody from bandits or stopped a bandit attack, you might have even done it in White Orchard. So that you're going to have this one automatically. But to do compassion, save people, donate, things like that. Real easy. <clears throat> Is that the last? Honor. Um, you've probably already done that one. You just gotta stand behind what you do, but the, again, there will be a specific quest tied to it that you can prove it if you need to. Wisdom, there will be a specific quest. There'll be three brothers, and you'll have a choice. Uh, you'll have to run into a cave to save one of them. It'll turn out the two of them did something, and they're, they don't like each other. All three want to kill each other because they're inheriting their father's uh, vineyard. So, you have a three choices and it's time so you have to hurry and you have to say the right things and you'll you'll know what to say you can either kill them fight them fight their guys you can be they'll kill each other or C you can get them to all get along join together and um, that's the wisdom one boom wisdom come back here okay so you've done it say let's say you've done that you know you have you run up here and he's gonna say get up here to, and he's gonna say oh you've done it uh and originally by the way when you first meet him and you're walking on water you get to walk out this direction about eight feet and look down at the sword uh you don't see the lady in the lake and then the druid i'm not i'm gonna save the rest but the druid will uh test you one last test you'll face just be prepared for it and then the sword will be yours after a very awesome cutscene and there you go. That's how you get the two most powerful swords. And of course, make them more powerful by going to the runesmith. And uh, honestly, use the grand, the grand master uh, Ursine set with it. Max out your Q, uh, <clears throat> your Quen. I almost lost my voice. I'm so sorry. Not feeling too good, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like it. Let me know. I mean, it 
there may be someone I, I have about 20 favorite swords I want to put them all over the mansion I have them in my stash I couldn't bring myself to sell them so what are your favorite swords in my opinion though just as far as fear pure power and being able to use them in a set in a build these are the two best that is how you find them if you have any questions just ask me down below in the comments i'll be happy to talk to you i love talking to people and fellow fans if you can hit a like button share all that good stuff thank you so much for watching have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or nighttime whatever time it is wherever you are thank you so much and of course even in the witcher revan says may the dark side be with you